Hi everyone. So before you appear for your exam and do your best, let's discuss some last minute tips and tricks. Now I have 10 points to be discussed with you. The initial 5 are very general one and the last 5 are very specific to the paper. So stay tuned till the end of this video and let's get started. As you can see the initial 5, the first one says doze off. Well, I have been emphasizing on the value of sleeping enough many a times before. Once again, I reiterate, howsoever hard pressed you are against time, you feel this part is left and this portion is left and I can stay awake through the night to complete it. Don't do that. You want to do the best in your paper and for that you have to be your best. So make sure you get at least 6 to 7 hours of good sleep. One last time. This, this refers to the revision that you are going to do on the grand day. So let's say you have your paper tomorrow. You wake up early in the morning. Try to keep at least 3 hours for your revision. Now this revision should include your list of formulas or the formula book if you have made. List of some important questions which have been appearing in boards over and over again. And of course the tricky ones or the difficult ones which you find. And keep the entire content ready a night before. So, so before you go to sleep let's say today. Take out everything on your table and early morning you don't have to waste time. You just have to start referring to them. Point number three. No talking. Yes. This is extremely essential and very common. Please do not speak to any of your friends a night before, a day before or even outside the examination hall about your syllabus. Whatever you have done is the best you could have done. So just don't do that. Point number four, a strict no-no. This is a very common sight. When you see students outside the examination hall, everybody is just mugging up or just trying to revise the last time. No, you have done that one last time in the morning. You don't need to do that. Let's say your paper begins at 10, 9.30 or 45. You should not be holding on to books or asking each other, have you done this? Do you know this formula? Not at all. You feel you may gain something out of it. In fact, you are just confusing yourself more. So you just need to calm yourself down and don't do this. Point number five, chillax. Suppose you have your paper tomorrow. So an evening before, just go out for a quick walk, maybe just 15 minutes or treat yourself with a sweet or something that would up your sugar levels and you feel happy and content. It is much needed. You need to rejuvenate yourself and gear up for the challenge. So here we start with more specific tips with your paper. Tip number six, just do it. I already have two separate videos on my channel regarding how to manage time in your examinations. Second, things you should not do in your math paper. I would link it for you people in the description box. You can get the same by clicking at the i button and also at the end of this video. So make sure you watch that. Apart from that, when I say just do it, if you see a question, of course we would be doing our best questions first as our strategy. But then of the remaining questions, please don't leave out anything. Just try to write maybe a formula, maybe quick one or two steps. You never know how much marks you can still get in that question where you felt you didn't know anything. Also, if you feel the question is wrong, certainly raise an alarm, but then at the same time, attempt it. Until and unless you don't attempt it, you don't get marks for a wrong question. So just do it, but make sure you do such questions in the end. Tip number seven, no dancing, please. Yes, what happens is you see the questions which you have done or you know, and you get so excited in the paper that yes, oh, I know this. I just did this a day before or this appeared in my sample paper or in my practice paper. I know, calm yourself down and make sure then you don't lose out even a single mark or half a mark in that question. 
write it that perfectly so don't be so overjoyed make use of the time and do it right tip number 8 short and sweet here i am referring to your value based questions so if your paper has a value based question now in math they don't require essays they don't require you people to write full thesis being a board checker myself i have seen so many students just for one mark they keep writing and writing and fill up half a page just for a value the examiner is only looking at the keywords so if the question says which is the value amongst the three four values which you have which is the one which you appreciate the most and why just stick to the value and give it in one line that's it keep it short and sweet don't waste your time here tip number 9 give me more this is not very relevant for the board students but certainly for any other examination here i'm referring to the extra sheet most of you what i've seen is when you're writing almost the last line or you've actually finished even that last line then you realize you need an extra sheet you call for it of course the examiner come and the whole process starts of filling up the supplementary record and etc etc in that process you are breaking the flow of your thoughts rather do that when you have actually just read the top of the last sheet call for it or you have just finished an answer and you realize only one or two pages are left make sure you call for the sheet in time so that you don't have to interrupt your thought process and you continue writing tip number 10 stock up now here i refer to the stationery i have mentioned this before please make sure you keep your stationery ready a night before you don't have to look for it you don't have to fend for it you don't have to ask people around make sure you do that and a very special tip to these tip now i add a bonus tip which is presentation of your paper make sure it is very very neat now if you do your best questions first this is most likely to happen but then whatever whatever you're writing otherwise also should be legible enough leave at least two lines between two questions so if you finished question 5 you want to start with the next one make sure you leave out at least two lines and then only begin next make sure you are writing all the relevant formulae that you use through the question it's important next make the relevant figure wherever required and make sure you are making it very very neat with a sharpened pencil introduce and conclude this means whenever you are doing a word problem or any other problem make sure you are introducing it well by writing given to prove the variables that you have introduced on your own and once your question is over the conclusion is very important especially to a word problem you, you just can't solve and leave it there you must write the concluding line it has marks next units make sure you are writing the relevant units wherever required okay so these were the very quick tips from my side i hope they would help you out and in the end stay calm don't worry you are going to do the best so all the very best don't forget to share this video with your friends give it a big thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to my channel it's free see you with the next one real soon until then bye bye